बिसमीम रबी असर वला तो असर वतमिन बिल हैर प्रबित नीमा असलम होप यू एल और गुड दिस इज़ दी बुक डी थ्री अपडेटेड सेवन्थ एडिशन एंड टुडे वी विल डू एक्सरसाइज थर्टीन बी लेट स्टार्ट स्टूडेंट्स Now, students, this exercise in this exercise we have to find the standard deviation, and this is the formula for standard deviation, and uh, and this is the value. The x is the value of the data, which are provided to us, and the sigma is the sum of these values. The n is the total number of the values, and this x, and this x with a bar on it. This uh, x is for mean. Mean mean has a specific formula which is the sum of all the data values over total number of the values. And to find that value, we have to apply that formula. That we find the value of uh, mean. Then we have to put in this value in this formula, and we find the standard deviation. And one thing I uh, want to clear to you you that this formula is for the ungrouped data. The formula is different from the grouped and the ungrouped data. The ungrouped data is that data in which the groups are not made. Only the simple values is given to us, and the, this is the ungrouped formula for ungrouped data. Now, students, question number one: Calculate the standard deviation of each set of data. Show you are working clearly. And uh, now, this uh, data is provided to us. And we have to find the standard deviation. We know the formula of standard deviation, and now simply we have to find it. Very simple question. The x is the values of the data which are provided to us. We have to write there the value of the x, and this is three, four, five, seven, eight, ten, and thirteen. This is x square. Now we have to find the value of x square. This is x, and x square is nine, sixteen, twenty-five, seven seven times forty-nine, sixty-four, hundred and one sixty-nine. Thirteen square one sixty-nine. Now we have to add this value. To add these values, three plus four plus five plus seven plus eight plus ten plus thirteen. We get the value fifty. This is the fifty. Now, now students, we have to add these value and nine plus sixteen. Now, students, we have to add these value nine plus sixteen plus twenty five plus forty nine plus sixty four plus hundred. Plus one sixty nine, and we get the four thirty two. This is four thirty two. Now you know the formula of the standard deviation. This is the formula of the standard deviation, and for this we have to first find the mean, and the formula is mean is. Sum of data values over total number of the values. The total number of the values is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There come sevens, and the sum is fifty. We have to divide the fifty by seven. Fifty divided by seven, and we get seven point one four two. Yes, and now we have to find the standard deviation. The formula for standard deviation is sigma x square over n minus mean square, and this is sigma x square. This is fifty. We have to take the square of it. Now, students, the sigma x square is four thirty two. Four thirty two. Total number of value and value seven. And Minus, and this is the mean square, four point one seven two square. We have to take the square of it. Square, we get fifty one point zero four 
0.32 over 7 minus 51.02. Now we have to solve it. 32 divided by 7, we get 61.71 uh, minus 51.02. And minus 51.02 and we get 10.69 under root under root answer and we get 3.27 and now students this is the answer of this question and the question is solved this is a standard deviation and now students the question number one part number one is solved now students the b part is same here the value of x and x square and uh, i write the x square now since part number two in part number two same the ungrouped data is provided to us and i write the value of x in this column and x square because uh, you have to take it from the calculator and uh, that's why I write there. And these are the value of uh, x square. Now we have to apply the formula of standard deviation. This is the formula of standard deviation. To find the standard deviation, first we have to find the mean. And now the x square. Now the formula mean is sigma x over n. Sigma x is 250 and the total number of values are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is 10. 10 by simplifying it we get 25. Now the formula of standard deviation. Deviation. Sigma x square over n minus mean square. We find the sigma x square which is 6412. N is a 10. And a minus 25 square. And this is 641.2 minus 625. Now we have to calculate it. 641.2 minus 625. We get 16.2 uh, under root answer. And we get 4.02. Standard deviation is 4.02. And this is the answer of B part. And now students, this question is solved. Now students, the part number C. In part number C, the same formulas are used because this is also the ungrouped data. And uh, we have to write it like that. Values of x are 5, minus 4, 0, 1, 4, and minus 2. Now we have to find the sum of this value. And... Uh, minus 5 minus 4 uh, plus 1 plus 4 and minus 2 we get the minus 6 this is minus 6 now we have to take the square of it 5 square is 25 this is 16 you know that the value of uh, minus and minus multiplied by minus is changed into positive value and uh, 0 square is 0 1 16 and 4. Now we have to take the sum of this value. 25 plus 16 plus 1 plus 16 plus 4 and we get the 62. This is 62. You know the formula of the standard deviation to find the standard deviation. First we have to find the mean. Mean is the 
sum of data values over total number of data values. The total number of data values are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is minus 6, sum is minus 6 and total number is 6 and we get the answer minus 1. Now the formula of standard deviation is over n minus mean square and this is x square over 6 and mean is minus 1 square and it's changed into 1 62 divided by 6 we get 10.33 minus 1 we get 9.33 minus 1 and under root answer we get 3.05 and you can round off these values and it will become 3.06. Three point zero six, and now students, this is the standard deviation, and this is the answer of part number C. Now it's solved. Now students, question number two: Use your calculator to find the standard deviation of each set of data. Now the ungrouped data is provided to us, and we have to find the standard deviation with the help of the calculator. Very simple. Now students, these are the steps which you have to follow, and I follow in front of you. You can see that that the very simple steps by which you can do the standard deviation of these questions with the help of the calculator and uh, in the the previous in the question number one you can also check your answer with the help of the calculator is it accurate or not in your steps first we have to clear the memory of uh, your uh, calculator when you could do it Sh uh, shift 9 and there come the clear you have to press the button 3 which is all and yes is equal to res reset all press ac key press now the memory of my calculator is clear now now i follow these steps first one is mode this is the mode now i would go to the statistics mode this is at point 3 can see 3 the start mode come there now I go to the one we are variance this is the one press the button 1 and now put the value enter the data the data which is provided to us now we have to enter in it and this one is 128 is equal to 135 is equal to 156 is equal to 123 is equal to 144 is equal to and 130 130 is equal to this is the data which I have entered it in it after entering the data what we have to done press the button AC this is the AC button. There comes the 0. Now press the shift and 1. Now where? Verb. Verb. Now we have to. Now we have to press the button 4. Where it? Variance. 4. And now we have to press that button 3. This one. And now press the button of is equal to and we get the answer 11.06 and this is the answer of part number one and we have to find it with the help of the calculator so we write there 11.060 and this one is and if you want to uh, round it three significant figure you can write it like that 11.1 by rounding off and 
three significant finger and now students this is the part number one now part number two again i am following these step first is mode and uh, third and one enter the data now we have to enter the data zero is equal to one is equal to 25 is equal to 14 is equal to 2 is equal to 16 is equal to 22 is equal to and 4 is equal to now the data is entered now we have to press the button ac comes to zero now shift and one and the variances come at the point four four and now press the button three and is equal to we get the answer nine point three five now students we get the answer 9.35 and this is to three significant figure and now students the part number three again i am follow these steps mode one and now enter the data 39.6 is equal to 12 is equal to 13.5 is equal to 22.6 and 4.7 and now students uh, press the button AC there comes 0 shift 1 and uh, now fourth one and the third one is and is equal to I get the answer 11.9 the to the three significant figure and now students uh, this is the answer of third part and the question number two is solved I hope you understand these questions very well these questions are about to find the standard deviation of ungrouped data Thank you so much students for watching my videos. Take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.